My next guest created a program that keeps inner city kids off the streets while teaching them to heal and grow through self-expression. Please welcome today's Harvey's hero, Erica. So, uh, Erica, tell us a little about your organization, Chicago Art Beat Studios. Yeah, Chicago Art Beat Studios is an art space violence intervention organization, and we focus on art, uh, nonviolence, service, and self determination. And we do that through art space education. Um, we teach it graffiti, rap, spoken word, uh, photography, and dance. And indirectly through that, we address um, the symptoms of trauma that we're seeing in the kids, um, because we know that is one of the root causes of violence that we're seeing all throughout Chicago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How did this dream of yours come to be? Well, for the last uh, 10 years, I've been working um, all throughout Chicago at different nonprofits, through um, a lot of different hospitals, the Department of Children and Families, the Department of Corrections, and I've seen and I've met a lot of kids and a lot of families, and I see them getting kicked out of their homes and out of their schools for gang-related graffiti and violence. And in the end, it's, it's really that they're very creative and they don't have the right outlets to express themselves. And mm -hmm. uh, that's where my organization came to be. That's how I got the idea for that program. Yeah, so. a, a lot of kids that are in gangs are very, very talented and gifted. They have no outlet. That's such a, a shame. I, people don't live in the inner city, they don't understand that. Right. When did you discover your passion to help others? Well, as a little girl, I wanted to be in the FBI, actually, and I wanted to be a big, bad uh, FBI agent and fight crime, and I thought, as I got older, I'm like, why would I ever want to arrest people and lock them up and punish them? You know, why not address why they're committing crimes in the first place and help yeah. them to take a different path? <laughs> seem more logical to me. So focus <laughs> of my studies was on gang intervention um, and children and families. Wow. Any memorable success stories? So many. Uh, success on the part of the, um, the kids that I work with for sure, but that I've been lucky enough to be a part of. One young man I worked with named Michael, um, he was um, struggling um, at home um, and in school. He ended up getting kicked out of school and had some different home situations that were causing him some stress. So uh, we worked with him to get his GED. He was a part of um, Chicago Art Beat Studios. And he's a full-time job. And he has learned to express his anger and his um, thoughts and his feelings through art, and uh, through spoken word. And he's phenomenal. So. Wow. <laughs> well, you know, Erica, you, you've helped so many uh, young people, so many kids. And there are a few kids who came here today who want to say thank you. No way. So we're going to let them come on out. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This kid right here. You all have something you want to say to Erica? How you doing, Eric? Hey. <laughs> okay. On behalf of us from Chicago RB Studios, we would like to just thank you for being there for us. Even when you didn't have to or we felt you weren't there, you helped motivate us to do better and to be better. And we'd like to thank you for that. You gave us the push to strive on and we strive to do better for you and for ourselves. So we won't let you down. So thank you, Erica. <laughs> This kid just walked out here. I'll have some words for you too, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to thank you as well. Um, the reason why you remember me is because a while back you took the time out of your busy day to talk to me and give me a few inspiring, motivating words on becoming a better man, a better chef. I met you during the Trump Tower. You sat there and you talked to me and you gave me some wise words, some that I think about today. And I would like to thank you for it, Steve. Hey. You was a kid. You were walking by. Yeah. <laughs> I was walking by. You still ain't getting no damn haircut, I told you. <laughs> this kid was, I was outside smoking a cigar. And this kid was walking by. He said, oh, Steve Harvey, man, can I get your autograph and a picture? I said, you don't need that, man. Let me talk to you about something else. And I just saw this kid and I asked him what he wanted to do. What you doing now? Right now, I go to the Cordon Blue for culinary arts. I'm taking up a culinary... You got in there. 
I'm out. I'm, um, I'm actually about to uh, graduate in three months, and I uh, currently work at Cotino's downtown on State of Ontario. I'm a line cook. You gonna make it, man. Man, this little dude, that's crazy. All of you, man, it's just, it's amazing, man, how one person can affect so many people's lives by just giving them a chance. All of you, you can change one kid's life. That kid will never forget, and guess what they gonna do? They gonna go change some more people's lives. People who get their lives changed turn around and do something for somebody else. I gotta tell you, Erica, you are really a true hero, and so, of course, that qualifies you now to become a Harvey's hero all day long. <clears throat> You're Harvey's hero. And also, our friends at Green Dot uh, heard about the sacrifices you make to help kids and families and even taking money out of your own pocket despite all of your own student loans. That's why my friends at Green Dot, they're giving you $5,000 on a Green Dot. Reloadable prepaid car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's gonna be really great for you. Hey, listen, folks, for more information on Green Dot, head over to steveharveytv.com.